I can't believe Sal from MCOM is stepping down. So the question is, is David going to follow his footsteps? In today's video, I'm going to explain exactly that my opinion. Also, we have some Twitter updates for you that I have been seeing online that I got to share with you, especially if you don't have a Twitter. But if you do have a Twitter, check the links down below and give me a follow. I post a lot on there, especially about Mullen stock. And Mullen is down pretty much 100% from a year ago, right? Not 100%, but 99.54% or something like that. It's absolutely insane. And we absolutely need a miracle if we're ever gonna get back to where we were one year ago. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy Saturday. It's 4.34 in the morning. I don't know why I do this. Every single morning, bright and early, but don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. Now, I know all of you are sleeping in probably this Saturday, but I gotta give you my Mullen update, and it's very interesting what is unfolding because if you remember back in December, I believe, or January, correct me if I'm wrong, let me know down below, Sal, the CEO of MCOM, which used to be known as Hellbiz, and David, the CEO of Mullen Automotive, had a meeting, right? And we were talking a lot about this. We thought some type of partnership was gonna come from this. We thought some positive things were gonna come from this absolutely has been a dumpster fire since then. It's been all negative things, especially in the stock price. And we still don't know what that meeting was about. But we know they had a meeting because Sal updated his Twitter plenty of times. Sal's like the CEO that talks way too much. And David is the CEO that never talks at all. But they both have put their stocks in the dump. So here's the CEO of MCOM, and I'm only sharing this because I think it could be relevant to Molin, possibly, because Molin and MCOM have done the same exact thing, reverse split, both down over 99%, and we'll see what's next for Molin Company. We all know if we had a new CEO in Molin Automotive, a CEO that I believe leads the company the right way, is very vocal, communicates well, that's a good sign of leadership if you can get a following. So Sal is uh, brave enough to talk about leadership, which is crazy. I'm gonna show you what leadership actually means in a second, but leading micromobility has been an incredible journey. However, I've always said I would do what's best for micromobility, and if that means passing the CEO bad, it's possibility I'm open to committed to our vision, whatever the role. Look at this. He goes on to say, interesting take. Great leaders know when to pass the torch for the greater good. The future of micromobility is bright and I'm committed to its best path forward because everyone's telling him to step down. But let's look at what leadership actually means. And this goes for you also, David. So John Maxwell, if you haven't heard of him, Google him. He is the number one person when it comes to leadership. He has a lot of different books talking about leadership and how to be an actual leader and what it means. And he says there's five levels of leadership. The first is position rights. Second is permission, you have relationships with people. Third is production, you get results. So people tend to believe that you can get the job done. Fourth, people development reproduction. You're really helping people succeed in your business or moving forward in their business. And pinnacle is respect. So there's a lot of different fine lines, but basically where Sal and where David are, are level one. Honestly, that's where I think they made it, and that is not leadership. Basically, everyone can get to level one. If you are a manager of a company, if you're a shift lead, whatever it is for your job, you are in a position to be a leader, right? When I was in the military, I made it up to sergeant, so I was level one. You have to kind of do what I say because this is my position. Now, I think I've developed myself into higher levels, and that's what everyone should strive to do, especially if you're in a business or you just want to be an overall better person in your life. But Sal and David are level one, right? They haven't done relationship building. They haven't really gotten results over this last year, if we really look at it. And obviously, level five is the, the goal to get to. So you can even see right here what they have to. That's level one. They want to. People follow you because they want to follow you. What you have done for the organization, level three is production. Now, the board thinks David has done a whole lot because they keep giving him bonuses and shares, which is absolutely crazy to me. What you have done for them, okay? What has David and Sal done for the community? What have they done for their business? Nothing. They have diluted the crap out of these stocks and they're both down over 99%. I'll show you in a minute. Who you are and the quality you have, right? So people start to respect you because you've gone through all these layers of leadership. So Sal, ask yourself, do you really have the right to say that you're a great leader? I don't think so. Same for you, David. There is good news. You can always change and you can start to follow really how true leaders impact this world. 
You go Mullen Automotive past year 99.53%, MCOM down 99.64%. So Mullen's actually beating MCOM just a little bit, but we're right there. So is David gonna follow the path because they have followed each other with the stock price? Let me know down below if you have actually heard of John Maxwell, if you have read any of his books. So in better news, Financial Journey said that David called him very excited and apologetic about canceling the interview with short notice. Right, no one was surprised, David. He alluded the reason for canceling was a massive step forward, rescheduled a firm video interview in the short term that he will not cancel, okay? So we'll see. But shout out to Financial Journey for staying on top of this. I'm looking forward to this interview, if it happens. And then we got Dan Sanchez, who probably posts about once a week or once every two weeks, and he likes to do these little, right, and this one, you can't see it's not moving, but it looks like Robocop with a burning building behind him. So there's only two things that this can mean. Because I think Dan is a little sarcastic and I think he makes his post dedicated, even though it's his personal account, it's dedicated towards Mullen Company, right? So I said this obviously means burning the shorts and that would be absolutely amazing. I think it's time to everyone that's shorting Mullen. I think it's very dangerous if you're shorting Mullen at these levels. So this could be burning the shorts. Other people have commented saying that this is Dan walking away from Mullen Company or this is Mullen burning to the ground. I want to stay optimistic and say, hey, maybe this is him saying it's time to move forward and burning the shorts down. But I don't know. It's just a guess. It's just to have a little bit of fun. Let me know what you think down below. So the question is, what do you think David is, is going to do next? Like he's telling FJ that there's a big step forward, there's big news coming. He's told other people in retail that it's gonna be a new him coming out of this, but still we're down over 99% in the past year. That's for people that bought in at $36, okay? Obviously we had the split and everything, but if you haven't dollar cost average down, then yes, you're down a lot, especially if you went in heavy a year ago, but that's the point of dollar cost averaging down because if you believe in the company, if you do think it's gonna run, then at least you can bring your average down and you can actually probably get your money back and maybe plus some too. But you know, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is really just my own opinion and you should only do what you feel is best for you. Still, there's no excuse for what's going on with both of these CEOs. So again, I don't know if, if David got removed or if there was a new CEO, do you think that this company would actually thrive? Do you think it would become a better stock, a better company moving forward? Or do you really think David can handle everything that's going on with Mullen Automotive? Because I still believe in the company long term, but it has been in the dump this last year. Appreciate you guys for watching. Enjoy your Saturday. Have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.